Hey there everyone, welcome to a brand new series. So, I decided, this is very sudden, all over the, or all during the month of October, Let's Retro instead will be replaced. This will be Let's Scare. So, welcome to the first horror game I intend to play, Conarium, or Conarium, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. But it is a horror game that I got for free, so I figured why not. See, until the gray circle is barely visible. I mean, if I really wanted to go with barely visible, I'd go with that. But we're just gonna leave it right around 30. We're gonna leave it there. I said 30. 30. The first challenge of the game, there we go. All right, there we go. We're gonna apply those changes. Alright, so we got subtitles on, English, that's fine, that's fine. Silent mode. Main character voice making additional comments throughout the game to provide a more immersive experience. Uh, no, I need that. Let's do this. So, this is Canarium. Or Canarium. However you pronounce it. Interesting horror game. Apparently it's Lovecraftian horror, so I'm ready to be completely and utterly blown away, mentally. Not the other kind, you sick pervert. All life people. is only a set of pictures in the brain, among which there is no difference betwixt those born of real things and those born of inward dreamings. Oh god, so it just starts me here. Wow, this is pretty though. What is going on? Oh, there's a run button? Okay. Uh my dude, I think that's creepy. I think you might be on acid. It's gotten even weirder. Person? Dr. Faust, is that you? Oh god. What happened to your eyes, man? They're gone. Okay, I got a fancy watch directly on my hand. Um, okay, let's not look at that. My head, ah, the, the pain, it, it is unbearable. All right, so let's not look at the thing. I'm lost, the pain is subsiding. I thought my head was about to explode. What's going on here? Found Dr. White's medical records. Okay, observation notes of the fourth initiation session, 7.05 p.m. <clears throat> all the participants have been cons all the participants have consumed the Dervashi mixture of five minutes ago. They have entered some kind of altered state of consciousness. All of them are now vaguely mumbling in their sleep, like they're chanting something, but the sounds are not conscious. They seem restless. I detect movements in their limbs, and as always, I wonder if it's because they are seeing beyond. Hmm. As always, the device is high and glowing, but this time the atmosphere is different than the previous sessions. Whatever the reason for this might be, it's almost like the fantastic device is signaling something in code I don't recognize. It's becoming more and more stressful to be alone here in the midst of this cold, dim, and incense-filled room. It sounds to me like the intensity of the subject's mumbling is much stronger now. Colors and shades are dancing on the wall with the rhythmic ins and outs of the device. I can hear the wind howling outside. Maybe a snowstorm is approaching, or something even worse. Exactly five minutes and three seconds have passed now. They have drifted beyond my area of expertise and guidance. I cannot do anything further except for wish for their safe return. 
Wait, where did they go? Okay. Interesting. I don't have a flashlight for over here. It's too dark. To be safe, I better find a light source. Yeah. I mean, this is a light source. Can we just take the camera? Yes. Yes, we can. This device, its noises are resonating in my mind. So weird. It's cool looking, but it's weird. This device, its right, noises so say anything different. are resonating in my mind. Okay, so... Upwat Arctic Expedition. Okay, so we're in the Arctic. Cool beans. The Diverse OP Nightshade and Beyond. Three Quoli. Can't read that. What in the world did you draw? Uh, Saiety Plant. Seeds of Saiety. Okay. Look, I'm concerned. Hello? Anybody here? Where is everybody? Good question, my guy. Meds? This is mildly unsettling. Do something with these? No? Hello. Needs to be enabled manually from the outside? Oh, come on. No code, nothing. Okay. So if that's gotta be from the outside, then let's check. Hmm. This is actually giving me a little bit antsy. like we're having a power problem right now. All right, so definitely not this way. All right, let's see. Can we go this way? Nope. Everything's locked? Okay. It's stuck. Yep. Okay. So definitely can't go that way. Looks like we've got to go. Yeah, I, was, I, I just want to check everything. <laughs> the gamer in me would not allow me to leave otherwise. No, I did not mean to do that. I want to close that. I'll come back to this room. Next to the fire hydrant. What's this? Johan D. White. Attention crew members who are having sleeping problems. Insomnia, strong headaches, seeing vision or hearing voices. What is that squeaking? I knew I heard squeaking. Okay. Big boy snowstorm. We're in the Arctic. This is probably not the best place to be. Especially outside. Very easy to get lost. Why did I pick accent? Do not ask. But I do not know. We shall find the hour outside. Cloudy. All I can remember is the successful establishment of the Upper Water Antarctic Base. And after that, nothing is clear in my mind. That is the wind, right?
They tried barricading for some reason. This hose was tampered with. Great, so I need another hose. This hose was tampered with. Let's see, shock hazards. Locked. Hudge. So what am I gonna do now? I can't use this one. Maybe there's another hose in here. No, but there is ow, Jesus, there's a blinding key. I'm gonna take that key. Ah, I can press F to turn off the flashlight. That might be useful. Okay. Now can I unlock it? At the Mountains of Madness. Written by H.P. Lovecraft. Oh, I got a trophy item for that. There's no hose. No, no untampered. Oh, that's rope. Is there a hose in here? I just realized that. Oh, no, but there is the best item in the game. Duct tape. There we go. Now, apply duct tape to hose. Repair and go. Ababushki. Uh, your electrical hazards. Does that mean I got electricity now? Bing bada boom bob's your uncle. There we go. I got power. Awesome. And do I go back? I guess. Maybe. Nothing specified. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running into the nice warm building. The abundance of five pointed shapes. Oh crap, I want to read that. Oh, not itself. There is a save button. I gotta use that. Alright, so now that we got power. Oh! Who the. Nope. I'm gonna wait a second. Can I go into the radio room? Yes, I can. That can wait a moment. Goggles. A camera. Binoculars. Can I radio for help, please? This is Upward Expedition Base. Pequod, please come in. I repeat, this is Upuat Expedition Base. Pequod, do you hear me? There is someone who can hear me. Please, come in. Some electrical condition in the disturbed air seems to prevent communication. Hmm. This is a problem. I will take this radio, though. Morse code tables. Ooh, this might be important. All right, so I'm gonna take a picture of this because Morse code table seems like it might be important later on. Uh, report of the snowstorm, last seen or heard, overheard or nearest, first seen or heard, estimated distance. Five seconds indicate one mile. Oh, so this is directly overhead, huh? 1950. Okay. So it's August of 1950. Based on what I saw, I said 817-1950. There's nowhere else I can go in there, I think. That's the meeting room that I woke up in. 
Yeah, expect a snowstorm next two weeks. All this other stuff. I don't remember these pictures being here. Okay, so that's just a... Okay. What in the world? Familiar visits in the lower chamber once more in the form of a black cat. The spectral image echoes throughout the seven rooms. What sin called it from its hollow, looming dim and ghost-like? I don't remember seeing all that on there before. Okay. Game's getting into spook territory. I like it. Who did that? Will not be tolerating stuff. Any of your shenanigans right now. Okay. You're agreeing to terms written below, false statements on So some kind of crazy medical experimentation was going on here. What are these guys doing? On psychoactive plants, Sahati and Dervash. Or Devashe. Any meds that I could take or nothing, nothing, nothing. Painkillers. Okay, what's down this way? Another flashlight, but who left it? Oh, there's a whole elevator. That does not seem to want to do anything right now. We're going to leave that alone. Alright. I think that is enough exploring on my end right now. Let's go see what the game wants. Oh, wait. Canteen. I lied. It smells awful in here. Hmm. What happened? The whole base is abandoned. Stop. Clearly, it's been for a while. Because for food to smell disgusting in a place as cold as this. Granted, I know in here it's not as cold as it is outside. So obviously it's not going to, you know, magically keep it refrigerated. But it definitely shouldn't go bad that quickly. It's not a, oh, it's been a few hours unconscious type of thing. This has been a few days, maybe a few weeks. Where'd this guy go? It's stuck. Of course it is. Our haphazard momentary aerial exploration of the unholy un- Utterly alien cyclopean maze of square curved and angled blocks. We could detect most of the locations revealed by the previous Miskatonic University Expedition leader, the Professor Professor Emetrius William Dyer. What we're looking for is not there, it is in the haunted Shoggoth ruins. According to various sources, it should be the only ruins of the much older city around the edge of the mountain beyond the Mountains of Madness. It was built over the location, deeply shunned even by the Elder Things that built long before the colossal city Dr. Dyer and his team explored. Now he's found this lands that no one has ever done before. A vast mass of dry land around the South Pole which rose from primal waters when the Old Ones seeped down from the stars. A place so evil, most of the arcane sources hesitated to record it at all, while some murals within the Elder City depicted it being obvious repugnance and trepidation. Wait a minute. This is some Cthulhu looking thing? What you mean? Tell me y'all tried to summon Cthulhu. Is that what I'm detecting? Y'all goofing up with Cthulhu? 
What does this do? Power is this thing. What does this thing do? I genuinely have no idea what's going on. Alright, there's a puzzle here. Hmm. Hidden plants of great antiquity. Wait a second, I had a thing. Let's see. Scientifically, the pineal gland, also known as the pineal body, conarium or epiphys cerebri, is a small endorphin gland in the vertebrae brain named after the shape in which it remembers the shape of a pine cone is located in the epithalamus near the center of the brain between the two hemispheres. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a serotonin-derived hormone which modulates sleep patterns in both circadian and seasonal cycles. But mystic traditions and philosophy ascribe a different role. Rene, Des Rene Descartes regarded it as the principal seat of the soul and the place in which all our thoughts are formed. In the writings of Madame Blavatsky, it was explained with the Hindu concept of the third eye or the Anshi. The An Ajna Chakra. Jesus, I can't read today. As part of the human body is not fully understood today, it holds a deep rooted place as one of the most important links between our material and continually degrading mystic nature. Okay, well, let's turn the page. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Oh, I, I mean, yes, but no. I wanted to read more. Alright, I don't know what this thing is for. I heard the squeak. Stop. Oh god. I did it. I actually did it. But what is it supposed to be doing? Okay, whatever. It's doing something in there. Anything, anything? More goggles, paperwork. Purpose of the expedition. No electricity. I found that the the Upalt expedition are darkness, but why has nobody attended to the problem so far? Where is everybody? I'd better find a crew member. I woke up from this series of blurry nightmares, isolated inside of what seems like foreign walls, and one of my pockets I found an empty notebook in which I'm writing my notes. Can't remember anything other than that should have been others here with me. The names Dr. Faust and Dr. DeWitt are lingering in my mind now. Or Dr. DeWitt. Additionally, I'm trying to delve deeper into the thoughts that gives me sharp pains. I'm already throbbing head. Better find a crew member and find out what's going on here as soon as possible. So that changes my category. This changes my page. Have hazard mode to illustration. I remember that. Dr. Faust's notes on the purpose of this. I know we're close to what sh we should have been looking for, or we have been looking for during the adaptation sessions we hold here in the meeting room. I feel a guidance of some sort, something pointing me towards the destination we seek. This means we're now in seek with the ancient source. The wearable canarium we're carrying left on in our necks and thus receive sensations from the same ancient source. Sometimes I wonder whether they have been here in another soul during humanity's relatively brief period of existence, able to achieve such a feat. Within some shunned and loose sources I've gathered from around the world, it says that the extraterrestrial species, the Elder Thing race, built it after passing through a strain stage of mechanized life on other planets. This purpose remains unclear. Oh no, we're we're dabbling with Cthulhu. This ain't bueno. James Barlow. Locked. But who's this guy? MC Blake. Frank Gilman. Your door is locked. Did I lock my door? I don't remember where my keys are. 
I'm Frank Gilman. Locked. Dr. Faust's door is locked. Uh, nothing else. Okay. So nothing on this side. Let's go down the hallway that this guy went. Where'd Ghost Man go? Wait, was this where I started? Yeah, this is where I started. Okay. So Ghost Man went down this hallway. He went this way. It's the only way he could have gone. Those are the crew rooms which I just came from. It's locked. Henderson. His coat is just right here. Where is he now? H. His Anderson. coat is just right here. Where is he now? All right. Which means Anderson can't have left. Locked. Because he couldn't have gone outside without his coat. Oh God! The hell? They jumped? What in the world? Jesus Christ, I actually hurt my back. Um, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, we're just gonna leave that alone. You can stay there. Don't jump at me again, please. Thank you. MC Blake, James Barlow, we did this. Well, he must have gone this way, right? Aw. Some dude and their baby. Oh, well, young man. Child. Person. Another jacket. So these guys haven't left. Where'd they go? Another child. Yet another child. None of that works. Wait. Oh, you're saying to close the door. Jacket child. Oh, not even a child. Old man this time. What's this for? Ferguson's notes on his dreams. I'm inclined more towards the notion that our nocturnal visions are not just faint, fantastic reflections of our waking experiences. Every time I pass into a state of dormancy, somehow I can explore while I am dreaming the vistas of grandeur. An alien prospect and an unnatural disposition, so vividly expressing the outer extent of this world I have yet to discover. If only I was endowed with this artistic skill to describe my visions, all I know is that this became evident after the Canarium sessions started. Even though I am not one of the participants, I am somehow affected. I feel I am absorbed while in an unconscious state into the oblivion, crossing the line beyond the wall of sleep. L. Ferguson. Hmm. There is a much greater mystery here. Okay, that one's locked. Don't know what's going on there. Locked. And locked again. Okay, well, you know what? I think this is a good place to leave off for now. So we're going to go ahead, save right here. Oh, it auto-saves. That's pretty neat, actually. Hmm. We're going to save on top of slot one. Yes. So we're going to save there. I just got to remember I'm on the manual save. So other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time on Let's Scare or Let's Horror. I'm still not sure. It's a working title, but we'll we'll call it something. But for now, I will catch you all here next time when we try to figure out what's actually going on with that whole ghost and explore more of the mystery of the Canarium. Other than that, guys, I will catch you all here next time. If you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below, and I will catch you all here next time. Make sure you hit subscribe. Join the Curly Crew if you aren't already joined. That way you guys can see more of me getting scared at this game for literally nothing even scary yet. Just stupid wooden dolls popping out and then jumping for ragdoll physics for whatever sake and reason but whatever i will catch you guys all here next time i hope you all have a great and wonderful day